Alright guys, now we're here, back for something a little bit different today. <clears throat> today I'm doing a sh kind of a ship showcase of ships I've built using other YouTubers' uh, tutorials. So we're going to start out with Sordak 65's Atlantic, which I used six times and built all the ships from the Oceanic class, so... This is all six of them. The Atlantic is right here. Uh, it's a good looking little ship. Uh, I built, I think that one's for public. Got the Oceanic right there. The, the Atlantic right here. The Republic, I think, right here. The Baltic, the Adriatic, and the Celtic. So, let's do. No, this is Baltic Republic. That's that's Republic right there. I always get those two mixed up. So they're about a uh, hundred blocks away from each other. Maybe I don't know. So, got my favorite one right there, which is Adriatic. So, I don't know why, I just like Adriatic a little bit more. Got the Celtic right here. It's so basically all the same, except the only difference is the lifeboat covers are different colors. I put Celtics, Celtics as orange, so. Uh, Baltics is blue. Baltics is dark. Ajax is dark blue. Republics is red. Baltic is purple. Atlantic is light blue. And Oceanic is cyan, I think. That's what it is. So. I put this on utk.io if you want them. If you don't want to go through the process of building them. So, if you want them, they're on utk.io. So, I will now come to Oceanic again. And I will now do a jump cut. Well, we move on to the next ship, which is the Nantucket Light Ship. So, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, now, we're, I'm at Shield Productions Nantucket Light Ship, LL, L, that, basically. So, these are not mine. None of these ships are mine. I just built them. So... This is Shield Productions Nantucket Lightship, the one that was accidentally sank by the Olympic in 1934. So, <coughs> just do a quick little fly around. It's not a very big ship, I mean, it's only a the only purpose is to be a little light, a uh, floating lighthouse, basically, so. Um. Get the Nantucket uh, name on the side. It's 21 wide, huh? Huh. It's 21 blocks wide. I, didn't, I forgot about that. That's the whole ship. It's a little small, but it did it did what it was designed as it to do. So don't know what this thing is, but pretty sure this was the uh, 
bridge or, or control room or something. So that is Nantuc the Nantucket Lightship. So time for another jump cut. And I will go to the MS Estonia. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now we got our first Witch Larus ship, which believe me there's gonna be many. Uh, this is his MS Estonia. So ignore my Estonia over there. The tutorial will that, for that will be some sometime in either February or March. I can't. I don't know yet. So, but for today we're just gonna focus on which Larissa's Estonia. Let me get going for you. Yeah. Uh. So, this is the tutorial, which I think 2016 he did this, so, hmm. it's a good looking ship, the Swedish flag, because of course this was a Swedish ship, uh, I like the blue, but I don't like the cyan, uh, Draft Estonia, uh, Talon. Yeah, you got a low draft. So, this is the best propeller design I got. I came up with this was my design of this propeller. So Uh, excuse me. Even from the, even from right here, you can tell my Estonia is much much is much bigger. But this is what I come up with for East. The I did a little more detail than Rich Luis did. I put every name on it, the East Line, I think, I don't know, and then the front logo on the E, and I also did it for mine over there, the same thing, so, this is, that is East, the Estonia, uh, of course she sank in 1994, because of the because the way rough waves knocked her bow off, so that is Estonia. So we will now move on to a custom ocean liner, which is the Mortania. So back in a moment.
Okay, back again. So now we're at the SS Harlot Castle, which is another one of Shield Production ships. So, got Bruce right there. Uh, get it on the gangway. Um, not much change from the video I already did, except for the funnel. I just changed it to orange to kind of make it look like kind to kind of make it look like it's aging. So. No interior. Um. There's no interior whatsoever. Except down here, there's a. <coughs> water type. There's a couple water type bulkheads. So. Go back out here. This is the first ship I've built on water, so six life seven lifeboats. Eight lifeboats, sorry. There. Distinct stern. Oh fuck. Hmm. Hmm. It's uh it's two o'clock in the morning while I'm recording this, so that is the Harlick Castle. It, the last one of the two ships left that are not which LaRusses, so the next one will be uh that is Harlot Castle. Next will be the Lorenic, so back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now we're on the RMMV Lorenic. Which is which loses Desiree Bell, so except in my color scheme, blue, black funnels with black stripes, so and I named it Lorenic. So she's got four anchors. Hmm. So this is also on utk.io if you want it and don't want to build it so I made three versions of this ship um, one uh, this one passenger liner a troop ship and a hospital ship so I'll do those at a later date. We just do a fly around of the passenger ship. Chris one she had her name at the starting. Oh well. Uh, I like the starting design. Kind of V U shape, bowl shape. <sighs> so. Uh, a little bit something different. This was open. He had this as like this, completely open on Desiree Bell. I put windows on on it. I kind of like it a little bit more. So, um, not much to say about Lorenic. Um, 
She's a big. She's a big ship. So. No interiors yet, except a few tail motors on the wheel on the bridge, and she has a wheelhouse. So this is a wheelhouse. Nothing in here. Just empty. I had these. Where they are, forgot what they were, the vents, I think. So that is the Lorenic. So I'll do another jump cut now and go to the Queen Elizabeth. So back in a moment. Okay, hey, back again. So now we're on the Queen Elizabeth. So this uh, behemoth that I had to build block for block. And I went through hell for it, but. Hey ho. Hey. I like the end result. Queen Elizabeth. Beautiful looking ship. I originally designed I originally built this as a fictional ocean liner, which I don't know why. But I brought it over here to, brought it on my phone. I built it on my tablet originally, I put it on my phone. And I converted it, changed it to uh the Queen Elizabeth. So This is the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Lizzie, so, not sure if this is accurate, this, uh, uh, what is it, fuck, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of lifeboats, Uh, this ship, don't know if it's still around, I think it was, because it sank, it caught fire and it sank partially, and I think they just scrapped it, so, I don't know if she's still in Hong Kong or where she was, most likely she's, she's bits and bits of metal now, she was scrapped. So... This is another, yet another original loose build, I almost forgot. Because I don't want people in the comments saying I built this. I, this is Rich Loose's and I didn't give him credit for it, so. When I build somebody else's ship, I do always give credit. Even if it's just partial. Like with the Mauritania, and the Coptia, and the Britannia, the hulls were... Uh, Britannic from Richard, Richard Luce's, uh Britannic tutorial, and the superstructure was my design, but I still gave him credit for it. So, <coughs> this is Queen Lizzie. I don't know how, why I built this. It took me two, three months. Put together, so yeah, it's close to. I think the ship is close to 530 blocks. So that is the Queen Elizabeth. So I will now do another jump cut while we move on to the QE2. So back in a Okay, back again. So now I've got the RMS Baltic, yet another one of Rich LaRouche's ships. So, ignore Adriatic over, the, over here. Uh, it's Adriatic, that is my design. So, so we're Baltic. One of the big four. Uh, I was originally going to do all four ships the Celtic, the Cedric. Baltic and Adriatic, but I just thought, thought, fuck it, just do Baltic and Adriatic. So, this is what it looks like. It 
AJX a little bit longer, but I don't care. Why are these yellow blocks here? God damn it. I had to uh, uh, modify the ship a little bit to put uh, these two lifeboats on here, which uh, were on the actual ship, so... Uh, he did, Rachel did a little bit better job with the stern than I did, so... I'll just come over here to Adriatic stern. You can just see the, sh the how shitty it is. Looks like that. It's kind of it's really fucking shitty. Uh, so <sighs> don't know. What uh, three more ships after this one. No, four more ships. So, we're almost done. And I'll do another video of all the ships I've done. I've done... It's only going to be ships I've done tutorials for, so... But that won't be t for, till for another day. <coughs> So this is Baltic. Did this a few months ago. I don't know, actually. So that is the Baltic. Next is the QE2. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now is the QE2 or Queen Elizabeth 2. So one of Two, three more Ritual Luch builds, and we got three after this, so. Uh, this is QE2, we got another ship I had to build by hand, block for block. My eye itches. And it's a good looking vessel. Uh, I did the lot, I put... Accurate uh, looking lifeboats on the ship. So This ship's around 500 blocks, I think, so... Damn it. I'll fix that later. Uh, put this opening at the stone, which is there in real life, so. A lot of decks, a lot of glowst glowstone, a lot of redstone lamps. Give the ship some illumination at night. Um, nothing really on the top except a lot of things that, like radar or something and the funnel. So.
to Queen Elizabeth II. Got a good curve to the ship. I like how the black slopes up, but the white doesn't. So, that is QE2. Next is the city of Southampton. So, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, now it's the city of Southampton, which I've just done a video for not too long ago. So, this is the Arundel uh, uh, Castle. Which releases using that, and I just made some updates to it to make it this. So, this is what it looks like. See balconies. Uh, there's nothing in here. I just just there's nothing in here so little thin funnels you open back section. So it's like I don't know a minute. So this is this crane I think is a little bit too big, but that's just how it what is. Um good shot right there. All four funnels. Um I did do an interior somewhat. Just this. I just added a swimming pool. That's about it. So that is the city of Southampton. I will now. Ready? Oh, I also did a bridge interior in a wheelhouse. So. That is the city of Southampton. So I will now do a, another jump cut and go to the Yamato. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now I've, I'm on the Yamato map. This is a Jack Thunder ship. So It's a Japanese battleship from World War II. Ignore that right there. This is what it looks like. Uh, his looked a lot better because, of course, he had a texture pack, and I just had the regular, uh, I just had vanilla. Nice, uh, guns, but, uh, I don't know what this track system was used for, but, uh, I think it's for... 
the last boat it'll go, it goes out over the side, but I don't know. Um, I put camp a couple of campfires in the funnel to make it look like it's actually a uh, working ship. Warp door goes into absolutely nothing. I think the bridge is up here. I think this is the bridge. But I'm not sure. I don't know battleships. <sighs> so. I put a pillager flag right there. A, uh, what is it? A, uh, another star. I didn't do the floor. Did I do the floor? Yeah, I did. I did. This is it's just an empty ship, empty shell. So. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I did the floor. Huh. Oh. Go here to the hangar. Um, I had a couple of villagers in here, but I don't know where they went. Couple of windows. Well, there's one. And there's the other one. So, that is your motto. So. Last one. Is, uh. The Queen Mary, so. Back in a Okay, back again. So, it's now the Queen Mary. The last ship. And I've just done a video about this two, three weeks ago. And it's the most recent video on my channel. Oh, besides this one. So, get another original roots build. Get a shot of that iconic superstructure right there. This ship uh, is still with us, but I'm not sure for how much longer because she's flooding in some areas and she's starting to sink. So, I like I love, I love the Queen Mary. She's definitely up there with my favorite ocean liners. The funnels, which I could I, I could usually get the whole ship in frame, but now the new mic, the new update, I can't do that no more. I think this was a cocktail bar in this area, but it's just an empty room with torches. So, a couple of gangways. <coughs> Four propellers, a bowl-shaped stern, 
Which I don't think is too bad. It'll do. So. Like the Queen Elizabeth, I originally built this as a custom motion liner. Once again, I don't know why, but I, I changed it to the Queen Mary. So, I don't know who Jordan James is, so leave me alone. So that is, this is the Queen Mary. Uh, so that is basically all the ships I've followed tutorials for. So next video will be a sh another ship showcase of the ships I've done tutorials for. So, see you then, and this is Nightwing, signing off.